Hi everyone. Today I have an amazing workflow. Basically both the components that you would see in this workflow are previously uploaded on my channel, but combining these two creates amazing results. And I have paused this preview. These two are videos and I'll explain this workflow and then I'll unpause it so you can see the final result. So before that, I'll just explain this workflow if you follow me or if you would have seen my uh, ways 14 billion workflow this is the same thing there are no changes you can find all the links here and in the description below as well i'll provide all the links that you need for ways 14 billion it is actually a model by van 2.1 and i am using a lora which is called cosvid 14b so this actually increases the uh, generation time because the only six steps are needed and you have to fix the CFG to one. So you can get the VAS GGUF from this link. You'll get this in the description. I have selected the Q6. You can select anyone which uh, accordingly, uh, which you can fit in your VRAM, right? This is the uh, workflow which I modified according to me. And then this is basically here you can find this LoRa. You'll get the link to this LoRa as well. So you can see this is the Cosmid LoRa, which is actually generating, uh, creating the generation speed faster. Now, with that being said, here you can see I have put a reference image that is actually generated by me in ChatGPT. So, and I have provided this one prompt, which is. A 21 year old woman dances in her dark room. She wears a fox inspired crop top, mini skirt, and uh, fox ears. Right? And this is a random video. I have used this video in my previous uh, workflow as well. So I kept it the same. So you can understand the results. And here you can see what I have done is that I have skipped the first 77 frames and total cap I have put to 161. You can put it anything that you like. The main part is force rate 16 because the final video that we'll be creating would be 16 frames, right? So with that, I have put it 16 frames. Now this part is important because what I want is after the generation of this particular image, I want to change the face to my consistent face. And this is also something that I created in chat GPT. One thing I would like to mention is that never use someone else's uh, videos or photos or anything without their permission for any commercial purpose or never use anything for anything objectionable. So obviously use it safely. You have a moral as well as a legal responsibility. So maintain that I have created this face. You can see uh, in chat GPT. So this is a random uh, face and I wanted to use this face consistently for any video that I create. So what I'm doing is that it will take the reference from this uh, movement, this photo and this particular face. So till here, the first video that you will see what I'm doing is that here. You can see all of these 81 is the length or uh, means total frames, six steps and I'm generating this. So I'll unpause the, I'll resume the preview and here you can see it is following this particular video amazingly. So the movement is so similar. The hands and the fingers are so, so coherent. You can see that it is not getting messed up. And the best part is here. You can see in the photo, there was a tail. So even if it could not take the tail, but the movement is so natural. It is amazing that the movement is so natural and everything looks so realistic. It is amazing what you can do locally. Now here after you can see these images are being created and it is going to the video combine. What I'm doing is that I'm taking the input here in reactor. So reactor, you can get this node if you do not have this node, right? So one thing that you can do is that come to manager for any of the nodes that are missing, click on install missing custom nodes and you can install any of these. Now here I am using for the swap model. You have only one model that is in swapper 128. So use that. But for the face detection, you can see there are many. I like to use this one. You can also try the YOLO, but I like uh, retina face ResNet 50. This is important. So face restore visibility 0 
this one keep it same uh, you'll get this workflow you'll get all of these parameters here one thing is very important i am use the, uh, using gfp gan version 1.4 right if you use gpen bfr 512 you'll get more clarity in face but in video sometimes what happens is that the face becomes way more clearer than the other parts when you use the last one i like using this when i am using like face swap on images but when on videos i generally like using gfp gan and you can switch between these two to see which one gives the better result and it would be out of these two so yeah and now you can see this is the face some uh, some of the facial features are very prominent like eyeliner and the lips right because here you can see i actually mentioned plump uh, pink plump lips eyeliner right so here you can see that and then i'll resume this preview and now you can see the face is completely changed and you can get that eyeliner look right here you can see you have that the lips has changed the eye color has actually changed because this eye is actually greenish grayish so you can see the eye color has changed the nose has slightly changed so if you look very closely if i bring this here so you can find the similar uh, similarities between these like the face and the eyes if you want you can change the face restore visibility slightly you can increase it if you want more but sometimes it looks very natural so if you are prompting something which is similar to your reference image and then you face swap with something similar you will get almost like perfect results so here you can see that the face has changed and the movement of the body is so similar so this was the original and this movement is so similar with the hands and everything so this was the complete workflow and let me know if you have any kind of issues or problems and i'll try to uh, solve those put it in the comment section below one thing that is very important is that i forgot to uh, mention this if you are not using the lora if you want to switch it off right you need to increase this step to at least 18 or 20 20 works better and you have to increase the cfg to 4 or 5 even if you keep everything else same you have to increase the cfg with the lora only cfg 1 works best so if you are not using the lora and because you would be increasing the steps here you can see the generation uh it is not there because the uh, last reactor worked but the generation takes around 5 to 6 minutes for me right uh, with six steps so if you are uh, creating it like 20 steps so obviously it would take three or four times the time so uh, keep that in mind and with that i would suggest to use this particular lora you can slightly change the strength uh, between 0.5 to 0.0.45 to 0.6 is something that i find perfect but you can try to switch it and again like if you have any kind of doubts or any kind of questions put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you